Yeah, baby. We're talking about one of the launch games for Sega Genesis, Thunder Force 2. Yeah, made by Technosoft. Now, I love Thunder Force 3. And I kind of like Thunder Force 2. When you first start out this game, it's going to be very weird. So this is Thunder Force 2. <laughs> and if you're expecting a side scroll and shoot em up, well you're gonna get that, but only if you finish this stage. <laughs> There's also an options menu you can level select, but only through the first five levels. Okay, so you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell do you do here? <laughs> okay. See these bases here? Whoa! Yeah! You gotta take them down. But easier said than done. Okay. We do have some very cool weapons in here. Yeah, if you compare it to Thunder Force 3, there are actually more weapons in here. Which seems kind of weird because this is a prequel. <laughs> yeah, the main problem with this mode is that you got a lot of shit to avoid. The turrets take way too many damn hits to kill. Whoa! And enemies might suddenly appear if you go too slow. It's a cool effect that we got the foreground that's actually faster than the entire background here, but it's also highly disorienting. Like, look how fast that creeps up on you. If you hit that wall, you're dead. Okay, now what do you do? <laughs> this is kind of confusing. Okay, now we got this narrow passageway. Yeah, it's a pin wall that you can actually go through, but only if you hit the sides here. It instantly comes back, and you have to find the net space to destroy. Whoa! Okay, it's not there. <laughs> Look how fast that is. That's insane. You also got to remember, the fourth ground is an obstacle. It can still kill you. How am I Oh shit! It's very unbalanced in a way, and thank god they took these out of Thunder Force 4 and Thunder Force 3, and... <laughs> in fact, Thunder Force is just known as a side swung shooter now. There we go. Now these levels, these levels are so much more fun. Yeah, so you can't adjust your speed like in front of Force 3. It's hard to shoot all the enemies on screen here because they come from all directions. Yeah, so basically all the odd stages in here, like stages 1, 3, and 5, are overhead stages. And when you get later in the game, yeah, avoiding the walls and everything, it just gets much, much worse. <laughs> yeah, it was cheap on the first level, but now it's just getting insane. Okay, let's see if I can chew through this mess. And my gun's not fast enough, even though I have the rapid fire. You know, a map would have been so fucking helpful here. <laughs> Oh shit! Plus I have to shoot through all that mess while enemies are still trying to kill me! It's not fair! Just have to go back and forth all the time just to clear out this mess. It, it never grows back! <laughs> there we go. Don't tell me that was a fucking dead end. Oh no. I have to go up. Damn, this is narrow. This is really fucking narrow, and this is really fucking fast while enemies are still fucking kill me. <laughs> okay, maybe you're thinking to yourself, alright, there's overhead stages, more levels, and you got core weapons in here. Why isn't this better than Thunder Force 3? Well, 
these overhead stages, they suck. All right, I wanted to see if I can get the C. But is it good? Oh, it's not gonna let me get it without killing myself. I don't know if this was what Thunder Force 1 was like. I think it was a Japanese exclusive, but... Thunder Force 2, oh. It's definitely one of the better looking early Sega Genesis games out there. If you compare this like to Super Thunder Blade or <laughs> Space Area 2, these stages here have an amazing amount of detail. You can move up and down, so it's a cool effect. Thunder Force 2 here for Sega Genesis. It earns a 68 out of 100. Damn, there are some cool boss fights, some interesting levels in here, but I fucking hate those overhead stages. I'm sorry. They're awful. <laughs> but it's still a good game. It's punishing. I love coming back to it. But thank god I got rid of those overhead stages in the sequels. Damn are they annoying. They could have worked if they played a lot slower and you weren't forced to like had to move back and forth all the time to shoot everything. Yeah, Thunder Force 3 on the Sega Genesis, it might have the problem of being a bit too easy, although it's fun. Thunder Force 2 has a problem of being way too fucking difficult. Oh, but then you compare it to these side strong stages, which look absolutely spectacular. Look at those villains in the background. You got big bosses in here, you're not always destroying bases that just look unremarkable. No. This is actually fun. And Thunder Force 3 is just a continuation of those awesome stages and it just got rid of the mess. Thank God. It's good to see the building blocks that went towards Thunder Force 3 and its awesomeness. Okay, and that's it for me. This is Aerosol, World Heavyweight Champion. Over now.